Okay, um, let's get started. Okay. All right, so yesterday we started off um, doing free code camp JavaScript lessons. So we're going to continue going through those. Um, it's actually harder than I expected. Um, but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. So we're going to continue cracking on with that and uh, see how far we can go. Hey, what's up, Crash? Hey, what's up, Trusty? Man, you guys are jumping on fast today. Um, yeah, so I went through all of these yesterday. Uh, I, sp I spent like, I don't know if you watch this, if you go back and watch the videos, I spent like half an hour trying to figure out one of these things and it turned out to be super simple. So uh, let's see what we have, um, what we have in store today. But I was just saying like JavaScript seems to be HTML, uh, CSS, I was like, yeah, I can kind of got the hang of this. And then JavaScript was like, boom. <laughs> like, no, this is actually programming. This is hard. So anyway, all right, we'll continue. How are you guys doing, though? Having a good weekend? All right. I don't really consider programming so such as that should be jarring. Right, yeah. Um, yeah, the the switch definitely. I mean, it's I'm I'm making it sound bad. Then it is, it is more difficult, but it's, it's now actually feels like I'm actually learning to program. And I haven't even done like any advanced stuff yet. Just I was just trying to figure out um, boolean and all that all that stuff. You build these, you built it? Oh, cool. What's the link, man? I'm check it out. And uh, Crash, you're going through JavaScript now too, right? Building our projects. I'm going to go through, I found this um, this site yesterday. It's called uh, javascript30.com. Uh, apparently it's free to join. Um, so you build 30 different projects in 30 days. So after I go through the course and learn the basics, I'm going to jump into that and basically building out all these things. Drum kit, clock, um, yeah, like all of these. So if you want to do it together, build it out, build out all 30 of them, that'd be sick. Here, I'll send you a link in the chat if you're interested. All right. You understand? Done. Okay. Right. So maybe those projects will help because uh, I need to understand it first. That's where I'm at. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll be jumping into this soon. No libraries, no compilers, no frameworks, pure like vanilla JS. All right. Okay. Uh, what's going on? Link don't work. <coughs> uh, we should do the J. Okay, hundred percent. Let's do it. Uh, I mean, you probably have a better understanding of how long it's going to take me to get to at least understanding the basics. I'm guessing at least two weeks. Go through this. Um, see what you have so you got a bunch of those yeah I don't know a week two weeks I think go through all that and then you can start building others projects all right
Okay, let's close that out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get that shut down. Okay. All right, got a second link. Man, that just already looks um, looks nice. The design. I'm gonna type my so my brother's an artist. I'm gonna type his name. See see what we pull up. Hey, look at that. It's copyrighted, right? Let me see. Does it actually play? It doesn't play. Okay, it takes you to. All right, that's sick. Uh, I don't know, Drake. Really fast as well, like instant. Um, I don't know. I don't know who else. So you had the weekend. Um, so I go old school, like Fifty Cent. What if I just type in 50? Does it search for... Oh, look at that. That's interesting. I'm um, planning to play the sample audio on my page when you hover over the track name. Ah, okay. Yeah, that'd be nice. And this is all done via Shopify's API. And pure JavaScript, right? Obviously, HTML, CSS. Oh, right, we're gonna use that too, but decided not to. All right. Ah, this is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to uh, list of projects we could potentially build. Um, okay. Projects idea box. Um, Spotify. Sweet. Uh, um, okay, so seven forty-five. I need to step over at nine o'clock. So we've got an hour, an hour fifteen minutes, and um, yeah, let's see how much we can get done. So understanding conditional, conditional stuff. That is a good project. Yeah, it looks dope. That looks really good. The design of it too. And I think you built it, you started building yesterday, right? Because I know you were doing the design yesterday, so you built it really fast. Okay, if statements are used to make decisions in code, if Tell JavaScript. Yep. Create an if statement and show the <clears throat> inside the function to return yes, that was true. If the parameter. Ah, oh, I remember doing this yesterday. Okay. You wrote the JavaScript after waking up. I didn't write the code well though, it has a lot of errors. Right. Nice. <clears throat> Test my condition. If my condition return it was true, otherwise return is false. True or false. Was that true? If was that true, return yes that was true, else no. Yeah, I already did it yesterday, that's why, okay. So what else you want to do to you want to you want to add um, the play thing, the play button? Anything else? Not play button, play on hover. Yo, what's up? Hello, wait, 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 wait. How do I do emojis on this? How's it going? I don't know how to do I'm just going to type in wave. Oh, there's an emoji thing right here. Okay. <laughs> uh... <laughs> mm. 
We are five people on the stream. What's up? What's happening? <clears throat> All right. What are we doing now? Um, <laughs> smiley. I could just copy that emoji and paste it, right? I could do that. Um, what the yeah, there you go. <clears throat> uh, there are so many comparison operators in JavaScript. All of these operators return a boolean. Uh, the basic operator is an e equality operator. It compares the values and returns true if they're equivalent or false if they're not. Uh, note that equality is different from assignment. I love the hair. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently I look like Prince with the crazy hair going on. Um, which assigns the value on the right of the operator to a variable on the left. It assigns the value on the right to the left. Okay. So function equality tests my valuation, I guess. If the valuation equals 10, return equal, otherwise not equal. Type coercion. And once it does, it's true, false. Okay. Add the equality operator to the indicated line so that the function will return equal when val is equivalent to 12. If, I guess, 12. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, submit and go to the next. Strict equality, so three equal signs is the counterpart. Uh, however, unlike the equality operator, this, which is done to convert both values, does not do the type conversion. Okay. Three is a number. Yeah, use strict equality operator in the if statement so the function will return equal when the value is strictly equal. I mean, that's just triple, triple equals seven. Yeah, I mean, these things are easy, but then when you start doing the actual um, projects or, or even the little building stuff, that's when I have to go back and look up. Be like, hey, what, what was that thing I learned two minutes ago? Uh, okay. Practice. Yeah, this should probably go in the notes. I should probably change his name to um, programming, I guess. Um, wait, hang on. Where's my thing gone? Oh yeah, <clears throat> someone asked to create a Discord like a couple of weeks ago. Try web web dev notes. What is that? Yeah, what do you guys think? Should I create a Discord? Is that something you'd be interested in? Oh, you mean the name of the thing? Oh man, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes more sense. Web development. Nuts. Man, I swear I had a whole... Here he is. This thing... Is this inside the toggle? 
No, it's not. For some reason it wasn't loading earlier. I need to reorganize my notes as well. Yeah, I'll do that maybe later tonight. Got way too much going on here. Great. Oh, you mean about the um, Discord? You were, you were about to ask? Um, how do you even create a Discord? I don't even know. Yep, okay. Yeah, let's create one. And then we can have all the projects in there, sort of talk offline when I'm not streaming. Invite only room with plenty of people to talk. I think I already have it. It's for the... <clears throat> how do I create my own? I'm part of the... Um, Installing update. What's it called? The Odin project one. This design is really neat. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. So I'm part of the Odin project. Don't really go on it though. Add a server. You see an icon the plus, right? Okay. Uh, what are we? Gaming, friends, study group, artists, creators. Create my own. All right. Psst. Yeah, whatever. Web dev group, I guess. Something like that. Uh, invite your friends. All right. Okay. Here's the link. General. Mm, okay. None of them are active anymore. Okay. Okay. We're going to make sure this one is active. Um, yeah. And if you got friends who web development and invite them. Channel names. This is, I think I think we need one for web dev projects. Mm, I can just call it projects. Projects. Kind of showcase. So you just yeah. What did I invite you to? Did I invite, what is the, that, that link I sent you, do you get access to all of these? All of these channels or no? I got no, no clue. <clears throat> um, yeah, projects. General, what else? Let's see what the Odin project has. We can just uh, steal that. General. Okay. PWDG, that's funny. Um. I guess we create one for JavaScript. And you can discuss everything JavaScript in here. Hey, there you go. All right, how do I add it to... These are channels you add in your server. <laughs> Shit stuff. Hidden then web dev advanced CSS. Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh damn, that's a lot. Mm. 
Let's try it now. Um, how did you create these two different groups like that? Databases, categories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. I like, I like how this is. We can have the JavaScript under one of these. <clears throat> Join the party. I think I know. I think I know. Um, nope. Nope. I do not know. What is that noise? Category. Right click on your server icon. Ah, oh, there you go. Create a category. It's in the screenshot. That was the noise. I was trying to figure out what the noise was. It was your messages. All right. Create category. Boom. Awesome. Wait, did I not create? Oh, there it is. I can just move it, right? Drag and drop. Yeah, there we go. Web dev. Um, create one face to mail. CSS. Sound just go. <laughs> yeah, right. I just figured that out. I was like, what is that noise? Okay, makes sense. Um, what else did you have? You had advanced. I like the resources one too. Okay. Okay, I can change the name later if needed. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it at that and see see what people, um, I don't know, if we can fill it up with people and see how it goes. But uh, cool, that's one thing, that's one thing done. Get this code. Cross that off. What was that? Low latency for chat. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm, do that. Some some other point. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse 
excuse me. All right. What we're doing is the compare equality function in the editor compares two values using the equality operator. Compare equality for two and two things. If A equals B, return equal, otherwise not equal. Modify the function so that it returns equal only when the value is strictly equal. I mean that's just a that's just that. Okay, the inequality operator is the opposite of the equality operator, means not equal, returns false. <coughs> uh, yep. If val is not equivalent to 99, if val is not equivalent to 99, return not equal. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Also, are you part of all the different groups? Can you see resources or do I need to add you to these? Member list. Oh, no, you're on it. Okay. Not equal when valid is strictly not equal to. Ah, oh, right, okay, gotcha, because they're not private. So it's kind of like Slack. Uh, it's not equal to. What? Not equal to 17. Sweet. Okay. Add a greater than operator to indicate lines. The return statement makes sense. Function test greater than if the value is greater than ten. Return of hundred if it isn't ten. Oh, there's multiple multiple cases. If it's over a hundred, over ten. Anything else would be ten or under. Okay. Design inspiration. Oh yes, that's yeah, yeah. All right. Um, I feel like I should create a different category for that. Yeah, let's do that. I also like this thing I wrote somewhere. Everything is a remix. All right. That works too. Okay. Uh, also, I don't think inspiration should be inspirations. It's just inspiration. Okay. And then within that, we'll have UI designs. Maybe you can also have like, I don't know, code. Like if someone's written a code that's really, I don't know, simple, or I don't know, written in a way that makes sense. I'm gonna have a beautiful code. Hopefully that makes sense.
Okay, something just pinged. Long flex box in an interactive way. Got flex box froggy. Oh damn. What's, what am I missing? Flex. Oh, maybe it's already flexed that. Um, center. Ah, there you go. Okay. It was already flex. It should be flex center will land on it. Oh, I need to read the thing. Ah, okay. <coughs> Level 1 through 24. Just like content again. So you tell the frogs get to the lily. Okay, it's so a green on this one. Yep. Okay. Hmm. Maybe sensor should do it. Yeah. This is cool. This is. <laughs> Man, this is really nice. Is there anything like this for JavaScript? Well, three of them now. Well, I mean, it kind of tells you, right? I have lots of space around them, so space around. Created by code pip. Oh, they got grid. They got CSS grid as well. Grid garden. Code 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 crunches. Well, it's a paid website, but they have the flexible one for free. Right. Okay, maybe we can create something like this as part of like a project. So we can practice JavaScript and stuff like that. I don't know how hard it would be to build this, but that would be cool. All right, I know that's a good resource. Learn to code by playing games. Look at that, that's interesting. They got a whole business around this. That's that's amazing. Damn, okay. Yeah, I mean one of the things I started a startup, that could be a potential idea, right? Very interesting. Alright. <clears throat> Greater than or equal to if taste greater or equal value if value twenty or over twenty or over so greater or equal to twenty so I can copy that equal to ten yeah that should be it. The less than operator compares the values of two numbers if <clears throat> if the number to the left is less than the number to the right, it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. Okay, so it's just the opposite. Function test less than value if value is under 25. So less than 25. 
if that is under 55 okay um, so this is less than equal smaller than or equal to 12 so I'm gonna paste the thing from earlier so smaller than or equal to and then on this one be 24 everything else is more than 24 yeah Comparisons with the logical and operator. Sometimes you'll need to test more than one thing at a time. The logical and operator returns true. The logical and. If and only if the operands to the left and right of it are true. So. If number is greater than five. And if number is less than ten, return yes. So there's two things need to be met. Okay. So it's like an and rule. Um, should probably make a note of that. <clears throat> Okay. Yep. <clears throat> that makes sense. So replace the two of statements with one statement um, using the and and operator, logical and operator. If the value is less than or equal to 50 and greater than or equal to 25. If value is less than or equal to 50, and then a double, where is that sign? Oh. And, ooh, made a noise. What else we got? Add this uh, music for. Get rid of each other music and next text channel. All right. Wait, what? Okay. Sure. Beep boop beep boop. Beep boop boop beep. Bus. Feature rich, easy to use Discord music bar. Thanks for adding rhythm. Okay. Rhythm, join the party and make a text channel for bot commands. Okay. You can now play any song from YouTube as audio. Like in the stream as well. My prefix is the...
play the name of URL. Okay. Um, I don't know. Uh, let's see this beat. <clears throat> Actually, no. I think this one is not copyrighted. So what do I do? The play. You have to be in a voice channel to use this command. Okay, delete. Oh, you done you done some stuff here. Okay. Join the voice channel. Ooh, wow. Thanks, loud. Okay. <coughs> what the hell? I'm glad it's recording, it's all live too. Alright, I'm gonna disconnect that from now. Yeah, that's really. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that's an awesome feature. What else we got? Uh, I can't. Do I type in here? Ah, oh, to be in the voice channel. Okay. Uh. Oh, damn. We can make our own bots. <clears throat> so when you play um, once, you must, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely. So, so when I play music on this, can you hear it over the stream as well? I don't know if my um, stream thing picks that up. Because <clears throat> I normally play just like my regular music. Probably not, right? Because JS is not connected. Well, I mean, it's still desktop audio. 
Oh no. Okay. Uh, we'll put that to the side. <clears throat> Okay, let's continue with this. I don't know, I was hearing it from the Discord, right? Okay. <clears throat> man, I really just... <coughs> that coffee went down the wrong hole, man. <clears throat> okay. So I've got about half an hour before I need to leave for the gym, so... <clears throat> see how much we can get done so if value is less than equal to 50 and oh we don't need that and val is greater than or equal to something's between 25 and i feel like that needs to be first Right, so between 25 to 50. What is that? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that should be it. <clears throat> Hey, Marco, thanks for the follow. What's happening? What's going on? Do you code? What's your story? I don't know why this test isn't passing. What have I done wrong? Uh, only change the code above this line. If... I have an extra closing bracket, by the way. Right, so that, okay. So that's what's messing me up. Man, good catch. Nice. Uh, good luck on my journey. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Day number three, um, powering through. Um, obviously you code, you saw the extra, extra um, bracket. I got hundreds of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah, man, I make so much dumb mistakes. <clears throat> and I'm live streaming the whole thing, so I can't hide. It's uh, pretty hilarious. Like yesterday, I, I missed a full stop. <laughs> so I had to concatenate two different strings. And then the test was looking for a full stop because it's looking for an exact match. And I forgot a full stop. I couldn't see it. And it took me like half an hour to figure that out. But anyway, um, test completed. Submit and go to <clears throat> uh, the logical or operator returns true if either of the operands are true. Um, we should make a note. Uh, returns true if both. Is it cool operands? <clears throat> yep. Uh, it requires being quite brave to learn in front of a bunch of strangers. I think it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's either brave or stupidity. Uh, we'll find out. Um, unlike other languages, JS automatically adds a at the end of the line, in case you didn't. Okay. 
if that wasn't the case, it gets harder once you get once you start getting into writing functions and callbacks. <clears throat> so you mean if I didn't put this at the end, it would still work? Okay, nice. That's good to know. <clears throat> at least that means um, I can get away with making one mistake of not having these lines. I like being explicit about semicolons though. Right. Makes sense. Um, what are we doing? So we're doing the logical or which is either of the two can be true. So if number is greater than 10, return no. If number is less than 5, return no. So either, so okay. So if it's either greater than ten or less than five, give no. Otherwise, I want to test that out real quick. Ooh, I think we need to create a function, right? Do do that. <clears throat> I think that would work. I missed the missed another one. Okay, right. That's why that's why the enter doesn't work. Okay, and then I go check greater than ten. Is it twelve? <clears throat> Less than five is three. It's gonna give no. Let's say nine. So if it's if it's like six, seven, eight, or nine, then it'll be yes. So but both of them has to be between those. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, there's brackets, man. There's I wish they added the brackets automatically, but then I guess it doesn't. <clears throat> Alright. So what are we doing here? Uh combine Actually, maybe I should add this as a note, so I remember it. Okay. Uh, combine the two F statements into one statement which returns outside. Uh, make the habit of opening and closing right away. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Um, combine the two of statements and one statement which returns outside if value is not between 10 and 20 inclusive. Get rid of that. If it is not between ten and twenty. Okay, so if it returns outside if it's not between twenty, ten and twenty. So if it's less than ten. Less than or equal to 10. Or greater than or equal to 20, right? Not between 10 and 20. So this, this excludes everything like 11 to 19, because it's less than 10, more than 20. That would be outside. Yeah, that makes sense to me. No, no, no. If the value is... 
Oh, if it's not between. So it's the other way around. Uh, but not equal to. So when it says inclusive, I thought that would mean including the 10. So it can equal 10 too. All right, let's just see. Okay, you're right. <clears throat> so what does it mean by inclusive then? Fair enough. <clears throat> All right, we'll go with that. At least the logic was right. It's just the understanding of the word inclusive. Uh, when a condition for if statement is true, the block of code following it is executed. Uh, what about when the condition is false? Normally nothing would happen. So if number is greater than 10, return bigger than 10, otherwise 10 or less. Command if statements into a single, it's greater than five, bigger than five, if less than or equal to five. What about when that condition is false? Normally nothing will happen. So I guess I don't really... If you have multiple conditions that need to be addressed, you can chain if statements together with else if statements. Um, convert the logic to use else if statements. Okay. If valuation is greater than 10, return that. So it just wants me to change this to else if. If it's less than five, return that. Else. So that closes that bracket. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. 60% through. Logical order in uh, if else statements. Order is important if. Um, the function is executed from top to bottom, so you want to be careful which statement comes first. So these two functions is an example. Function foo. If x is less than 1, return that. If x is less than 2, return that. Okay, otherwise, in the seconds, <coughs> excuse me, switches the order. Uh, while these two functions look identical, if you pass the number to both, we get different outputs. So 0, uh, okay, because the top one ran first. So change the order of the logic in the function so that it will return the correct statements in all cases. If value is less than 10. Um, I guess we just switch these two around. Oops. 
So if, uh, I don't know, it's less than five. Right, because then I'm going to look at the 5 first, and then it's going to look at the 10. That makes sense. Okay. say order matters okay. uh, if our statements can be chained together for more complex logic here is a pseudo code if condition one then statement one else if condition two condition da -da -da, else da -da -da. Um, write the chained if else statements to fulfill the following conditions. Numbers less than ten, five, tiny, okay. So we do an if number is less than five. Need some brackets, uh, return. Tiny else if do that. Um, how many go? So one, two, three. Um, number is less than ten. <clears throat> this is if number is less than 15. Large and then this is just an just an else for the last one. And this is gonna be huge. So anything less than five tiny between six to ten small, ten to fifteen. 15 to 20 and anything above 20 is going to be huge. Okay. <clears throat> Basic JavaScript golf code. Uh, in a game of golf, each hole has a par, meaning the average number of strokes a golfer is expected to make in order to sink the ball in a hole to compete Wait, what? As a par, meaning the average number of strokes a golf is expected to make in order to sink the hole. Okay. Depending on how far above or below the par your strokes are, there is a different nickname. Your function will be pass, par and strokes arguments. Um, par and strokes. Return the correct string according to this table, which lists strokes in order of priority. Top is highest, bottom is lowest. So. If it's, if it, okay, one stroke is hole in one, less than or equal to par minus two, 
average number of strokes. Okay, so average number minus two. Average is average on par. I guess that's where the on par thing comes, right? Like you're, you're on par, meaning you're average. I don't really play golf, so it's the first thing I'm <clears throat> learning about this terminology. Par and strokes will always be numeric and positive. We have added an array of all the names for your convenience. Um, <laughs> so they've also got an array. So would I have to do like return array and the position of it? Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. So we're going to start from the first one. Uh, if strokes, if strokes is equal to one. <clears throat> Um, we're going to return hole in one, right? I actually want to test this in my um, console here too. So if we put strokes as one. Oh, yeah, so that one is true. <clears throat> um, so the second one is going to be else if wait. <clears throat> so in this one, par is less than or equal to average minus two. Sorry, strokes. Okay. So everything's just looking at strokes and it's comparing to... I guess I'll just copy that. Par minus... <clears throat> I probably need to put that in brackets, right? I don't know. Let's, let's just try it without. If if the strokes is less than or equal to the par number minus two, then return equal. All right. Um, let's close all that. So if we run that. So second one is if if strokes is less than or equal to par minus two. Uh, let's say par is five minus two is three. So less than three, we'll say two gives an eagle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Return that, and I think we need. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, there you go. So you said earlier it works if I miss the the semicolon. Yeah, you're right but I need to make sure to put it in there, just in case. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh man, we got a lot of people in the stream today. Eight people, what's up? Say hello. Who's in the chat? Gaffer, what's up? What's happening? Welcome, welcome. Um, okay. Else if... Condition So I didn't need to do I didn't have to put it within the brackets I mean I guess there's only one 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 calculation being done right there's no yeah 
just chilling this evening. This is the first language you learn. <coughs> awesome, yeah, this is my very first um, language. I don't know if you're familiar with Free Code Camp, so I'm going through the curriculum. So, yeah, this is day three. And uh, yeah, the, all my JavaScript knowledge so far is whatever these show me so far. I went through just like, and it's not a programming language, but HTML, CSS before this. And then, yeah, jumping straight into this. What about you? Do you code? Um, syntax error, whatever. I think I could just copy these, man. If strokes, strokes. Equals <laughs> power minus one, um, return thirty. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna test now. I'm just gonna go through it. Uh, yeah, not professionally though. All right. Do you want to do it professionally, or is it just I don't know, just because you're interested in it. Um, yeah, I think it's the first time here. So, so I'm learning the thing, and then my kind of goal, I guess, is either start a startup or get a developer job within the next six, six to twelve months. So we'll see. Um, okay, if oop, remember the closing thing, strokes e equals par. Then return um, Papa's one. <clears throat> If the opportunity would present itself, you'd probably take it. Okay. So meaning you got enough skills to code, like yeah, have the skill level to be able to work. <coughs> That's awesome. If it's purpose one, we're gonna give it a bogey. Uh, double bogey, so it's gonna be else if strokes. Purpose two. Um, return double. So on the last one, can I do just an else? I don't know if I can do that or not. Let's let's see. Let's see if I pass the test. Because I'm not sure if, so if it doesn't match any of these other conditions, then would it match this, greater than or equal to plus three? I guess it would. I don't know, let's run here. Uh, something's wrong. What am I missing? I'm missing a thing again, aren't I? Yeah. I'm missing the exclamation. <laughs> yeah, missing the exclamation. The, um, the bracket. Oh man, the brackets. Okay, so pass the test. <clears throat> 
trying to think. I know it passed the test. I'm trying to think of how it would match this condition every single time. So I guess the par is going to be a a um, so whatever number you put in, every time it runs through all these scenarios, the par is a constant. So x minus two minus one x equals x x plus one x plus two. So it's between, yeah, all the numbers between minus 2, 2 plus 2 gets covered by this. And then anything outside of that, we're assuming is plus 3. Right, so that covers everything on the, on the right. Anything like minus 3 onwards, like downwards, I mean, or to the left, is not covered. I guess you'd never have that in a, in a golf game. Uh, I could leave out the I could leave out the elves as well. Um, okay, so just that. So this can go away. Uh, let's run it. Yeah, that also works. <clears throat> I guess you could. You, hmm, I guess you cannot go below minus three. In this case, yes, plus. Because all the other statements before return from the function, it works. Uh, that, that's for the else statement, but removing the else. Run from top to bottom in case. Right, okay, I'm going to copy this and see if we can make it. See if we can break it. Um, okay, so if I do golf score. It is advisable to use the last condition as well. So, like adding the else back in. Right. Uh... Okay, so I guess the statements we've written doesn't actually allow it to get below minus. Minus two. This is the power minus two number. Because there's nothing there to do it. So there's no way I can. I mean, I, I could pass in a negative. I don't know, a negative number here or something. No. So it's saying, um, okay, minus minus is going to add it to it. Right. Uh, it's advisable to use the last condition. Oh, wait, I missed the other stuff. But maybe I actually don't know if I do have enough skill to work as a developer. Okay, uh, what language do you code in? You can leave it as well. Right, okay. I don't think I could ever pass in a number that's... Yeah, I think I'm overthinking this. I started in C++ and C Sharp and now Haskell. Nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that might be a language I could probably tackle 
after this one. I think um, Free Code Camp teaches you Python. Yeah, Python at some point. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go to. So, what do you actually build? Um, I don't know. Are you building? Maybe not web web software. Maybe a different kind of software with C sharp. Oh, do you put a shop? C plus plus. I don't know, common use cases, I guess. What's C plus plus used for? Games, desktop applications, database software, okay. Right, actual applications and stuff. How do I get a shop? Man, <laughs> I'm gonna go for every single variation so I can find it. So very similar to the to the other one. <clears throat> um, what's the name of the chapter that you just solved? Um, what is it? Basic JavaScript golf code. You can paste that in there if it helps. Oh, remove the code past. Uh, more of a back-end guy, not much of a visual front-end stuff. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I definitely want to learn the back-end stuff too. After I do all this front-end stuff. Um, okay. No, we did not save. No, it did save. Okay. Switch case A, case B. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, it's nine o'clock. I have to step out for like half an hour. Um, yeah, I'm gonna call this a stream for now. I will be back later on. I'll go continue where we left off. But yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. Um, again, part of the reason I do this is so I kind of hold myself accountable for you guys being here and sort of makes it the learning process much more fun. So appreciate everyone. Enjoy the rest of your night, and if you're free, come out again in like an hour or so, and uh, we'll get the party going. So, take care. See you guys soon. Later. Bye.